Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to another video going over Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, the brand new Switch games coming out next month. In today's video, we're taking a look at even more brand new gameplay, uh, thanks to Terabi, of course, all those links will be in the description down below, but in today's video, it's all about Viridian Forest, more evolutions, more Pokemon you can find in the forest, battles, everything you want to see in some new gameplay so if you're excited for today's video please do drop a like down below it really does help out the video the channel all of that good stuff and also be sure to subscribe if you're brand new because i do daily pokemon content and live streams on the channel everything you want to hear on those lovely eardrums without all of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you guys enjoy so starting things off, it is a white screen, poof, but of course it is a Oddish encounter, as we all know. Oddish, that's a bit of a weird place to stop the uh, <laughs> stop the recording, but things happen. Uh, so as we all know, Oddish is uh, available in Viridian Forest. I do believe it is available before Viridian Forest as well because of the gameplay we saw yesterday, where he already had Oddish in his team before he even got to Viridian Forest. So maybe you can find Oddish on Route 1, or maybe on Route 22, I think it is, left of um, Viridian City. I can't remember what the route is, but where you can usually catch like Nidorans and stuff like that, and Sparrows and Mankeys. So maybe that you can kind of find Oddish there now. But as we all know, Oddish can be found in Viridian Forest. Level 6 with 29 CP. Let's see what happens. So. This is obviously in the game because to battle Brock, you have to have a grass or a water type. Obviously, you can also find Bulbasaurs in Viridian Forest, which is really cool. So at the very start of the game, you can have yourselves a Bulbasaur. Really, really awesome. And you can also have an Oddish as well. I do believe Oddish is version exclusive, though, to Let's Go Pikachu. I'm not 100% sure about it. I think Bellsprout is for Eevee and Oddish is for Let's Go Pikachu. I'm not 100% sure about that, don't hold me against that, but I think it might be. So if you play Let's Go Eevee, you might get Bellsprout. If you play Let's Go Pikachu, you're probably gonna get uh, Oddish. So that's just what I think about that. But obviously, he does catch the Oddish, took a couple of throws, but got there in the end, that's what we like to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to just doing this. I mean, like on my channel, I'm probably gonna do like a, a Let's Play where I do like a catch em all mode kind of thing, where I have to go and catch like every single Pokemon. Something like that, I think it'd just be a cool, cool little thing to do. Um, this different from everyone else. Everyone else is just going to be playing it normally. I think doing a catch em all mode uh, would be pretty cool. I also want to do like a shiny lock as well and all that stuff. I don't even know why I'm talking about that though. We're talking about gameplay today anyway. Tucked Oddish away in the Pokemon box in your bag. So once you have a full team, it basically just says that. So you put all of your Pokemon in the box, which is obviously your Pokemon box is just the PC box. It's instead, now, instead of having to go to a Pokemon Center and accessing it like that, you can literally access it anytime as you can in Pokemon Go, and just put all of the Pokemon in your team to your heart's content, which is just so good, and I am so glad that that's a thing, and I really hope they continue doing that in all the further generations, because it's just such a cool thing to do. Obviously, as we all know, um, when a Pokemon has, like, red around it, um, like this, it means that it's a big Pokemon, and when it has blue, it means it's a small Pokemon. Just like they do in, uh, in Pokemon Go, you have, like, extra large or, like, uh, extra small or whatever so as you can see when obviously he goes up and, and goes up to this cat it will say uh, it's extra big or it's huge yeah so it's huge or it's small I don't think it has any difference to anything to stats or anything like that I generally think just like it is in Pokemon Go it is just there just to say oh it's a big Pokemon I think that's literally all it is Maybe it gives you like a higher level or something. I doubt it though, but yeah, just basically just the size of it. I don't think the size even shows in the games though. I don't think like if you catch a bigger Caterpie, then it'll be bigger like on screen than if you caught a smaller one. I don't think that's how it works. But as we see, this is his team. This is why he's got a full team. So he already has a Nidoran female as well. Probably caught that on the left of Radiant City. We can usually caught, uh, catch Nidoran female male. Uh, as a Bulbasaur already as well, level 9. So he's got all these levels as well. Level 10, level 10, 9, 8, 6, and 9. Uh, leveling up in this game is super super easy by the way like um, just by getting experience by catching Pokemon obviously by battling trainers you get like a bunch of XP so it would not surprise me if like your team's super high level by the time you fight Brock plus you gotta have a grass type in your team anyway you don't actually have to show you don't have to battle him with the grass type you can literally just show him once and then he's like sweet you got one and then you can easily put it in your piece in your Pokemon box and then you can just not use it if you wanted to have a bit more of a challenge um, you don't have to fight Brock with a grass or a water type, you just have to show him. But anyway, we've got a Metapod here, just going to run away. So I don't think he finds any shinies in the gameplay, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, that would have been really, really cool. Again, we have no idea if there's chaining in this game for shinies. We don't have a clue if there's any... Um, uh, if I can't remember what I was going to say. If there's no chaining in, in the game. And also, 
I forgot what I'm talking about. Um, oh yeah, and the shiny chances as well. We don't know. Uh, so basically, we don't know if there's any chain link or any shiny method. We also don't know what the odds are as well. The odds could be better than usual. The odds could be worse than usual. I feel like the odds are going to be better than usual though, because obviously in Pokemon Go, uh, we're going to have like a bunch of shinies we can just trade over. I think like shiny Krabby is available since like the 1st of October as well now. I can see them just making a bunch of different um, Kanto Pokemon in Pokemon Go available as shinies until we get up to uh, Let's Go Peach and Let's Go Eevee, which is only a month away, so it wouldn't surprise me if in Pokemon Go they just literally threw out the rest of the Pokemon uh, in Kanto as shinies. So they just did this major event. Uh, it does say catch combo 2 there. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Catch combo 2, keep it up. That is interesting. That is interesting. I didn't know that was an actual thing. Um, maybe there is chaining in this game then. Maybe there's like a combo the more you catch a Pokemon. Because why else would that be a thing? Like, what else does it give you? Does it give you maybe more XP? Might give you a little bit more XP, maybe. Um, it gives you personal records as well of, like, the biggest you caught. That's really cool. So it gives you, like, the biggest you caught, the heaviest you caught. And it gives you a catch combo as well. Maybe it gives you either more experience or maybe it gives you a better chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. The catch combo, though, I was not sure about, though. I did not know that I, that was an actual thing. So I'll probably, like, be looking into that when, unless it gets released in, like, information or anything like that when I'm just, like, messing around in the game or anything. I'll definitely be trying that out and see if it helps at all because um, that definitely could be some form of chaining in, in my in my expense because it's easy as well to chain as well because literally you just dodge the Pokemon you don't want and then you just go for the Caterpies if you're going for a shiny Caterpie. Same with, like, a shiny Bulbasaur or a shiny Oddish or whatever. Obviously, it's going to be difficult to find a shiny Bulbasaur because Bulbasaur is so rare in Viridian Forest anyway. Um... But yeah, so we, uh, so we, does he catch this one as well? Does it say catch combo three? He does catch this one as well. So he's clearly going for the combo, um, seeing if it does help like uh, experience or anything like that. Does it tell you experience? Because if it does, I'll definitely go back into the video and check if um, what the last experience was. Because uh, this is very interesting, this whole combo thing. I'm definitely intrigued about it. So it catches this Cappy. So did it come up with like a multiplier? So everyone got seven experience points really. Um, so bonus book player everyone got seven there it does say combo bonus so i think that definitely helps for the experience uh if i go back to this cappy so they all got seven experience before how much experience do they get now uh he's just loaded a new move blah 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 forget this move blah, blah, blah. we don't need to know that uh probably got 24 experience i'm not sure how it works i'm really not sure how it works he got seven i mean it wasn't a great throw or anything like that but um interesting interesting that combo bonus definitely gives you more experience because it pops up saying uh combo bonus as we can all see but i think it might help to trying to find shiny pokemon as well the combo bonus does come up but all of this obviously doesn't yeah okay interesting 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 so we'll have to see what that change that like, that combo thing is it does say uh, combo of three keep it up blah, blah 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 um that's interesting though and obviously we've got a battle here oh no it just jumps right past the Another Cappy here. I think he's literally just trying to combo Cappy. We do have an evolution in this um, as well. Um, let's just see. He's just going to catch that. Blah, blah, blah. How much experience now? Uh, oh, you got a bunch of stuff there. Let's see what it says. I can't. I can't. I can't stop it on the right point. Ah. Uh, size bonus. Oh, so you have a size bonus as well. So you have a nice throw, first throw, technique bonus, combo bonus, and a size bonus as well. And obviously, look at all the experience in, you get 27. So, and maybe catching large Pokemon give you more experience. That's definitely what it looks like. Obviously, we have Cappy evolving right now. The evolution screen looks absolutely beautiful, by the way. I love the fact that every single year, they don't disappoint with making the evolution screens even better and nicer. And I cannot wait to see what they look like in Generation 8. I think they're going to look absolutely incredible. Um, but here we have Cappy, uh, Cappy evolving into Metapod. But that combo bonus is definitely intriguing. Uh, 100%. I think it might... Oh, the Pokedex thing looks so good. Oh my lord, the Pokedex thing looks so good. Uh, and then obviously he learns hard and blah, blah, blah. But that's pretty much everything Viridian Forest. I mean, we've already seen so much stuff about Viridian Forest, really. Um, and yeah, that's the end of it. So we've always obviously seen so much stuff about Viridian Forest already. Um, so it's not like... I mean, the combo thing is definitely nice to look at. I did not th think that was a, um, a thing in the game. I don't know. I, I don't know if that got like released or anything like that about that. But I definitely hadn't seen anything about that yet. But... Um, yeah, that's pretty much Viridian Forest. So tomorrow, I think I'm going to go over uh, Brock's gym. So the first gym battle. And then the day after that, we're going to go over the new co-op gameplay as well. Unless anything gets released about like Meltan or anything like that, then I'll just push the videos back a day. But um, 
yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Remember to leave a comment. What was your favorite part about this gameplay? Did you like the evolution? What do you think about the combo bonus, by the way? Let me know what your thoughts are about that. Do you think it does increase shiny chances? Do you think it's just for the experience? Whatever. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please do be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well. Remember, I got my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, and Patreon account that we found in the description down below as well. If you want to check any of that out, that is everything from me, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, guys. Peace.